I want to show you today how to make a coffee with an AeroPress. Now this is an AeroPress and you've got three parts for the AeroPress. You've got the filter part, you've got the plunger and then the barrel. So you're just going to be putting a filter in there. You're going to be putting that on like that and then plunging down in a second, all right? So I've got myself a scale here and you don't have to do this, but you know, over time you'll, you'll get to know how much coffee to put in. So just to show you how much to put in, I've already poured it in here, but I'll pour it back. That's about 19 grams, if you can see that, I'll just show you over there. 19 grams, 19 grams of coffee, okay? And that's gonna be quite a strong one for one person. I'm gonna grind the coffee now. 10 seconds, roughly. Okay, so you'll have a nice powdery form. Now for, this is a micro filter, basically. The, the AeroPress is a micro filter. So you can actually ground it quite fine. It doesn't have to be very coarse. So you put the micro filter in there, you put it on, and then you get yourself a cup, and we have to boil the kettle. So we're gonna put that on there, we're gonna boil our kettle, and then we're gonna fill it up to about four, because I know that this cup can take four. And 20 grams will give you roughly up to four. 20 grams of coffee is gonna make it nice and strong if you pour it up to four. What's up guys, I've got my daughter here, Sienna. Hi. And we're making a good cup of coffee with Life Brew Coffee. Now the trick is that your water mustn't be boiling hot. You've got to leave for about 20 to 30 seconds before you put the water in there. And if you haven't seen my blog post about what the best water to drink is, then check it out. The link is in the description. The reason I mention that is because I never use tap water directly from the tap for my coffee. I always use a filter. So I use a Brita filter like that. Um, and that's where I make my coffee from this water. You can also use water from a bottle, like sp spring water. So that's been about 20, 30 seconds now. And what we're gonna do is get the coffee. Uh, so we're gonna get this coffee inside of the barrel. And well, you must, you must give it a little shake to get it flat. You don't want it heaped up on one side, but you want it flat, so it's nice and flat, okay? And then you get, you take your water, and I'm pouring it up to four. Quick as you can. Get a spoon, give it one quick stir, and you could leave it for about 20 seconds or so, not too long depending on how strong you like it, you'll see that it slowly starts to sink down because obviously gravity is pushing this down through the microfilter. What we'll do now is just plunge it. So we're gonna put our plunger inside the barrel. My lovely assistant is gonna hold that and that's, you'll see that it's down at three now. You'll get a bit of air in between your coffee and your plunger, you'll get some like an air trap, which is fine. Keep pushing down, pushing down, and you'll hear the air come out soon. Not sure if you could hear that. That's the air coming out the barrel. Give it a little press and you're done. And I'd like to put this straight into the uh, compost uh, bin. So I just un un unravel and I push it out into the compost bin. I should give you a demonstration of that now. How easily it comes out. Just pop it out. Look at that. And there you go, a lovely cup of Life Brew coffee. You can either put, what I do is I put some uh, MCT C8 oil. You can do MCT, it doesn't have to be C8. I use C8 because um, I was convinced by Dave Asprey that C8 is good for the brain. So I use C8 oil and you can also put organic butter in and do that. Also, if you really want to, you can put collagen protein in your coffee. And this is the Life Shot collagen protein, the best collagen protein on the market. And I'm, I'm not saying that just because I want to sell it, but it's Peptan, it's made by Russolo, um, the best company in the world, in my opinion, to make bovine collagen powder. And you could put that, say, one 10 gram scoop in your coffee. You could put some MCT oil in your coffee and you can put some butter. Now remember that obviously that's gonna push up the calorie content. If I drank this coffee just like it is right now, zero calories. But if I added butter <laughs> and I've added some 
74 calories of this. I added a probably, let's see what it says here, per 15 mil, 135 calories. And with some butter, you're looking at about 300, 350 calories for a cup of coffee. But that's gonna keep you in ketosis. Um, and that's really the benefit of doing that. So what's the benefit of having bulletproof coffee as they call it? Is that it keeps you in ketosis. Well, thanks very much at Clint Grove. Thanks for watching.